What's the beautiful people? This is Mike from Mike as well. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the SDR brightness on the LG OLED C1. And we're going to be looking at different picture modes and see which one produces the best picture quality in the bright lit room like this one I have in the living room. So I have plenty of light around it. So when you have so much light and your OLED is not producing enough brightness, so it kind of looked dull and not good to eyes. So I have experienced that in the past while I adjusted the vivid mode, but I never liked it because it tweaks a lot of things in there. Uh, sharpness is like 30, then they push the um, high dynamic contrast and a whole bunch of things that are there. And other than that, no, no other mode can push as much as brightness as Vivid mode does. So we're going to be tweaking the bright space daytime, which is the ISF bright picture mode on the LG OLED C1. And we're going to be running it in the SDR 1080p and we're going to see what difference does it make. And you can see on the top left corner that we have 1080p, it's running in the SDR and we are in the expert bright picture mode, but the picture is not as bright. So we're gonna be looking at why it is not as bright because when you have so much light around you, you need to match it with that at least or exceed that to make it look good to your eyes. Otherwise it's gonna look dull and boring. So we are in the expert bright room and we're gonna to go to the all settings. And um, first thing that we will do is we are in the expert bright mode. We're gonna to go to the advanced settings to make adjustments to this picture mode. And first thing we're gonna do with the adjustments to the brightness. And you will notice one thing that OLED pixel brightness is at 80. So I'm gonna push it to the maximum because in this given situation where I have plenty of light around my TV, I just wanna make sure that I at least match or exceed that light to make the TV screen look better. So I'm gonna push it to the 100. Um, Artink says that if you push it to the 100, you actually reduce the life of the TV. But I mean, uh, I'm gonna use it for three, four, five years. So I'm gonna take maximum advantage out of it. Next thing that we're gonna do is, we're gonna do the peak brightness, which is off. So I'm gonna make it to the high, push it to the limits where it's possible. So we're gonna increase the peak brightness to high. There's another thing that you can do is gamma, but I don't usually mess with gamma because it throws all the picture um, you know, quality variables around, um, makes it a little washed out. If you go 1.9, so I'm gonna leave it at 2.2. If you go 2.4, that's uh, more dull. So that's the one they use in the a dark room picture settings. So I'm gonna leave it at 2.2. I just want that um, intent to stay there, you know, the directorial intent and all that. But I'm gonna to go to white balance and make sure that my color temperature is at 50, which is warm um, too actually in uh, other TV models before. And then we're gonna to go to the clarity, make sure that we have other stuff is turned off, super resolution, noise and all that. But I'm gonna turn off the true motion as well. So true motion is gonna be off. For SDR content, I keep my sharpness at 10 at least because I don't want it to look super uh, blurry or lifeless. So 10 sharpness is fine for the SDR content, but for HDR, I usually bring it down to all the way to zero. And next thing you wanna make sure that the energy saving is turned off. So you're not li limiting the TV, you know, to go to its peak potential where it is pushing the maximum brightness. So energy saving will be off. And now I'm gonna play and let's see, and I'm gonna use the picture side by side to show you what impact does it make before doing this and after. I'm not adjusting any of the uh, color settings here. I'm just adjusting the brightness related settings. So let me show you what's going on now after we made some changes. All right guys, as you can see now, we have the before on, at the top and the after at the bottom. And you can see that it makes significant difference because you can see around uh, back shared right here on the left side that it has more detail uh, that are visible now as become as compared to the above picture where it's like, you know, crushed details. And also you can see around that cashier, cashier register that how the details are of uh, visible. So you can pause maybe here and analyze what's going on. Um, and I like it because it's preferred bright for bright environment and bright mode. So I just want to make sure that, you know, we get that big brightness and maximum brightness out of our TVs. So make sure to try this settings uh, in your TV and let me know how does it look. And we are not actually changing any of those red, green, blue and two point, 10 point kind of adjustment. It's just basic brightness related adjustments that we are doing because we wanna make sure we, we push the brightness to match with the uh, light uh, lit room environment where you have so much brightness coming either from the, um, you know, the lights, interior lights, or either it's coming from, um, you know, the um, sunlight. So you can see here uh, the different picture modes uh, push things differently. Sports kind of like push it to the limit where it's super saturated. 
and game optimizer it makes it dark i mean this that's that is like inherited feature in the oled in the gaming mode it's a little darker than any other mode and expert bright is where you know i i would like to watch my sdr content when i'm in the um, properly lit room and um, I'm going to go and reset it and to show you guys like how it looked before. I mean, just pause at these points and do some analysis of yours and look around the things, you know, objects which were uh, having crushed details before and now you can see them clearly. And I'm going to reset it to the default settings. And this is how it looked before. And now you can see back shirt is like so dark now and her uh, elbow area around, you can see that details are missing and it's like proper store and there's plenty of light. So these are the few settings that I did to make it look good for my bright room. Let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about these settings? And the season two came out in the Dolby Vision. So that one is, uh, you know, properly optimized because there is uh, tone mapping and all that stuff happening. But this was just basically settings for the SDR. And I found out, okay, let's do it on the season one and see how we can do it. And I was also looking at the upscaling that TV was doing. I mean, look at the 1080p and the Picture quality on the screen is just phenomenal. So I just really wanted to show you guys the upscaling also, the uh, capability that TV has for the 1080p content. It just kind of deceives you like that you're watching 4K content, but actually you can see on the screen that the port, the source was actually 1080p. So this is the U season one, uh, episode one, and in the beginning scene where there there's dark scene because there's uh, inside the store scene. So I just wanted to take that as an example. If you want to push more brightness out of the TV, you can change settings like auto dynamic contrast. I don't like it because it throws away all the, you know, the colors and the brightness and the, sh um, the washout colors. And sometimes it makes it too dark for the darker area. So I just prefer it to be off. But if I ever wanted to turn it on, I will leave it on low. I'll never push it too high because high makes it super uh, dull for the you know dull areas and super bright for the bright areas. So that's what it does. It actually maximizes the brightness of the brighter areas and it makes the dull more dull. So I just don't know like if you will prefer that. So I will leave it off in my case because it looked amazing at off and I just didn't didn't need to push the bright more brighter and the dull more duller duller. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't know more dull maybe. So I'm gonna go back and. B b make sure that go back to my settings that I had before and um, that's about it guys and um, I hope it makes your SDR content better and I'll see you guys in another video until then peace out and stay safe out there